Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Hopefully I'll have a good run here at 10 health. I'm expecting I won't, so I'm gonna end up having to go through the sacred grounds again. But here we are at the seal chamber. Charge up your gun. Look at all these dead bodies and skeletons on the floor here. It's kind of morbid actually. Welcome. Oh, hi there, Balos. Oh, you're such a polite serial killer. I am Balos. Ages upon ages ago, in fear of enduring further punishment, I allowed my magic to run wild. <clears throat> the magic became such that even its master's hands could not control it. As I looked on, unable to quell its fiery rage, it took me from my loved ones, my children, my dearest wife. Their cries of agony soared above the flames. I could not avert my eyes, so I merely gazed upon the spectacle, laughing. Jenka sealed me away, but my magic yet rages out of control even now. Long, long have I waited, waited for the one who would finally subdue my magic's fury. Now kill me, or I shall kill you! Here we go, let's start the final battle! Okay, wait for him to charge towards you, release your laser, and go around in circles like this, and wait for him to shoot, oh, shoot, 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 that's not good, <laughs> did not mean to do that, I was a little bit off timing there, and in turn I took damage, that's basically his pattern there, is he just goes around in a circle like that, and you just have to hit him when he moves down onto the ground, and eventually he's gonna move up at the top of the screen like that, and he's gonna start bringing thunder upon you, and I died because I didn't have enough health. Be right back! <laughs> Man, would you look at this one? I got 52 health on my way here. Woohoo! Probably my best run ever here. If you're wondering why I didn't use the life capsule before, well, it's because I wanted to save it for a later phase in the fight. So, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to spoil any more of it, but I just wanted to try and get through the first three phases of this fight without taking 10 damage, but obviously that didn't happen. I had to go through uh, the sacred grounds all over again. But here we go again with Balos. Wish me luck, baby. I think I'm going to have a good run here because I've got a lot of health, and I already practiced, you know, this first phase here because I died. Anyway, here we go. Get ready. You're going down for realsies this time, and you've got, got two different colored eyes. <laughs> I didn't really notice that you had that in your first form. I noticed you had that in your second, though. Anyway, as you see, just keep going around in circles like this. It's not all that hard to do. He's a lot faster than you, even when using the booster sideways, so don't expect that you're going to dodge him just by going across the floor, you know, with the booster. Yeah, you're going to have to loop around with him. And he's going up in the air. Now watch the cursors this time. Look out for those cursors like that to cause lightning, and I already whipped them. By the way, there's these new enemies called Green Devils. Um, look out for phase two! Oh boy, his weakness is his eyes. So you gotta shoot him. Oh, that was horrendous. I shot the other direction. You wanna go underneath him when he jumps up like that. Go up, shoot his eye, and go back underneath him on another run. Like that. This is probably the easiest phase and you probably won't take a hit unless you kind of screw up with your booster or something like that. And here we go. I'm, I'm going to attempt to beat Balos here without doing any glitches. There's actually a so-called glitch that you can use by uh, jumping up into his eye like this and then just shooting the crap out of him with like the missiles or something like that. Ow! That could be done in uh, either uh, phase 2 or Phase 4, but obviously I took a hit there, I just saw you wouldn't mention that in this phase because I was being stupid. And in this phase, it's number 3, we've got the awesome last battle music going on here, he's shooting skulls from the ceiling. The, he's got no HP, but the objective you have to do is shoot the eyes out. You know, it always seems like you have to shoot the eyes out of things in video games. I gotta say that's kind of morbid and not at all kid friendly in the least. This phase isn't hard, you just gotta avoid taking a hit. Don't go too close to the edges of the screen, otherwise it'll be hard to dodge him when he transitions back from the ceiling to the ground or vice versa. And that's basically it for this. Yes! Awesome sauce. Going into phase four now. 
Now, there's gonna be a bunch of spikes on the floor coming out from here. Uh, they're bloody spikes, may I add, as well. They do two points of damage when they hit you. Um, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> I want to get up near his eye there. And here comes something really, really morbid here. Look at how nasty he looks. Now, his weakness is still his eyes there, and I'm going to attempt to shoot off those balls off of him. Yeah, he's ballo, so he turns out to be one big ball, and I'm in the spikes. <laughs> Don't worry, those aren't instant kill spikes though. Now this is why I wanted to save the life caps, because I never know how good this phase is going to go. This phase is extremely difficult, and yeah, you get the idea. Look how, I mean, it's just hard to even get any groundwork on him, like, because those boots are coming out of him as well as coming from the sides shooting at you, and I want to get rid of those eyes off that are attached to his body, but I'm having a lot of trouble doing so. I think I'll be able to get some hits in soon. Ah, this face is so dang hard. I want to use the glitch so badly to beat it. <laughs> I'd be able to like one shot it with the uh, well, not one shot it. It's just like multi shot it with the uh, missiles. And I'm at 16 health. Maybe I can do this without life capsule. Come on, con. Yeah! By the way, that isn't a bloody face that you're looking at. If you look a little closer, you'll see that it's like the souls of all the people that he killed are in him. It's still pretty morbid and still pretty nasty looking at that. Anyway, now you'll notice that the island stopped moving. Or stopped falling, I should say. Why is that? Well, there's an explanation to that, and I'll get to that during the credits. It stopped. Yeah, that shaking that was throughout the whole area, that was from the island falling out of the sky. The island stopped falling. Maybe all the negative energy was weakened after we beat him? Well, I don't know. But it looks like our work is done here. It hurts. What? So hot. The pain. Uh-oh. Looks like it's being closed in Bomberman style. The wall! We have to get out of here, but how? Help me, it hurts, so hot, we're gonna get crushed. Hiya! Balrog! Rescue us! There you are, just like Misery said. You came to rescue us? Hold on tight, lunchbox away! Woo! And so we escaped. Is your head all right? I'm not sure. Huzzah, baby. Woo! Look at Balrog and us go through the sky. Whew, that was close. I thought it was scrap metal this time for sure. Looks like we owe you another one. Nah, don't thank me. I was just doing what Misery asked me to. Misery, you mean that witch? That's right. I thought she hated our guts. Heck, I thought you hated our guts. You beat Balos, right? When you did that, it lifted our curse. Now neither of us has to take orders from anyone. I thought you guys were just jerks, but I guess it was all the crown's fault. Well, you reap what you sow. After all, Misery's the one who had him make the crown in the first place. Huh? You don't say. I do say. So. So? So, what are you going to do now? I could take you anywhere you like. You're right. Our mission is over, and now I just want to live out my days somewhere where I can relax and enjoy a beautiful view. Uh, you know, huh? Would it be alright if I joined you there? Sure! Let's live the three of us together. Really? I'll let you pick the spot. Just find us a good place, okay? You got it. Alright then. Hang on tight! And that, my friends, is the good ending in the game. If you have that little guy that you brought back to the little house, he'll also, he'll have a little line of dialogue in there for you to uh, for you to listen to. So technically, there's four endings in this game. This game has a lot of secrets. I, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, about explaining some stuff that uh, the story wasn't really all that clear about. So, well, or unless you didn't really get the hang of it, or I shouldn't say get the hang of it. Uh, figure it out yourself. I'll explain some of the stuff. 
follows his Jinka's brother, who resided in a kingdom where he was loved by everyone. The king of that kingdom became jealous of Balos, so he arrested and tortured him in sort of like a revenge frenzy thing, which is kind of sad actually. In turn, he went, in <clears throat> excuse me, in turn, Balos went insane and let his powers go crazy to save himself from, fu from future torment. He ended up destroying the entire kingdom in one blast. But for some reason he can't die on his own, but he does want to be killed by someone to end his torment of sorts. You know, from him not being able to control his own power. But I find it strange that he just didn't let that happen. Maybe it's because he was out of control with his own power and he couldn't stop from killing people. I don't know. But after he was killed with Quote and Curly, it almost sounds like he ended up going to hell by those unnamed messages after the final battle. Um, for the island's core, uh, the core was actually the thing that prevented Balos' negative energy from making the island fall out of the sky. In other words, the island can float on its own, unlike Knuckles' Angel Island with its Master Emerald. Uh, as for Misery herself, she, she's the daughter of Jenka and is a pretty powerful witch herself. Misery tricked Balos to create the Demon Crown, but Balos knew it was a trick, so in turn he made the crown so that anyone who wears it will have full control over Misery and Balrog. I don't know why Balrog though, I don't, I don't get why Balrog was brought into the picture, but whatever. Though for some reason, she still seems to be a bad character, you know, Misery? Because after the Demon Crown got destroyed by Quote, she still threatened to kill off Sue, uh, so you both would leave, you know, me and Sue. But it's... I, I, don't, I don't know what the heck she planned on doing once we did leave, but... Uh, it's unknown, unless she was still under the spell of the Demon Crown because Balos was still alive. But still, if she tricked Balos into creating the Demon Crown to begin with, you know, she probably had plans on using it for evil, so I can't really say that um, Misery is a really good person. Um, as for Balrog himself, there isn't really much to say about him. He seems to be a good lunchbox. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't really have much of a backstory, he's just the mysterious lunchbox of the game. And But he seems to be a good guy though, unlike Misery. Though Misery did seem to want to help us at the end at uh, Sacred Grounds, so I just don't get it. It's like Misery's bad, but yet she's good? I don't know. Um, as for Quote and Curly, they came to the island to destroy the uh, Demon Crown, but after uh, being defeated by the Doctor, what happened was they lost their memory, but what's funny is that they ended up being roped into destroying the Doctor anyway before, you know, they did before they got their memory back. And look at that. <laughs> um, Sue there, they, I mean, they tried transforming Sue and uh, it told back to their normal human selves there. But they sneeze and they turn back to normal. Anyway, as I was saying, Colt and Curly still ended up being... Oh, there's Misery. She looks kind of normal there. <laughs> Anyway, I'm getting off track again! <laughs> oh, these enemies right here are also, like, enemies that were unused in the game, besides that little puppy thingy there. Anyway, as I was saying, again, Quote and Curly were roped into defeating the Doctor, even though that it was their destiny anyway to defeat the Doctor. You know, that's why they came to the island in the first, first place, was to defeat him. So what happened was they went, they lost their memory and they ended up getting roped into going after the doctor from the very start after hearing how much he has been tormenting the other Mimigas. And that's pretty much the game's story, or I should say the loose ends of the story in a, in a nutshell. The rest of the stuff I think I did a pretty good job of explaining along the way. And this ends yet another walkthrough. I had a ton of fun doing this. Uh, obviously, I didn't make the game. Pixel did. The English translation was by Aeon Genesis, but I just made the walkthrough for it. I wanted to make a walkthrough that was sort of a tribute to these guys because they did such a good job with this game. It's just amazing, and I think I did a pretty good job of that. I made it. I made this walkthrough probably the most detailed and informative walkthrough. Uh, I should say video walkthrough on YouTube that I know of. Not to brag or anything, but I put a crap ton of work into this, but I loved every minute of it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough as much as I enjoyed making it, and I'll see you in the next one, whatever that may be. Um, as of right now, I'm, I'm working on 
the next walkthrough, but I'm having trouble getting the quality up to snuff, so to speak, because I have to play around with a lot of settings and stuff like that. So it could take me a little bit, a little bit of time to get the hang of this. Uh, but when I do, I'll be back to making parts as usual, or by the time you see this part, maybe the next day, they will be a part of my next walkthrough. Okay, again, I'm getting off track. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough. Toodaloo-ness! Oh, I should mention one more thing. Um, I'm going to quit the game here. Uh, whenever you beat uh, the Sacred Grounds, and... Once you beat it, you'll see on the title screen, there we go, that's the time that uh, it took you to beat the Sacred Grounds. That's what the timer does, and depending on how fast you beat the Sacred Grounds, you'll unlock various uh, different themes for the title screen as well as songs, like different characters, different songs for the title screen. Um, that's really all there is to it now. Now I'm going to end this part. This is getting lengthy. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. Huzzah!